Hi, this is Paul here. Uh, I made a, three videos some time about a year ago, actually, on how to format a novel um, using Microsoft Word 2007. And since then, I've had a couple of requests or, or a few questions about how to do the very basic formatting, um, which you would need in place prior to proceeding from the three other <laughs> videos that I made. Um, so here is my novel in a totally unformatted um, situation. It's just raw text. There, if you look at it, there's no headings and uh, there is no uh, page breaks. Uh, the pages just wrap one after the other. There's no <coughs> uh, page breaks that have been inserted by me. So it's just raw text. So how do you get from this uh, to the kind of state the the, uh, the novel was in when I made those first three videos? How do you do this very basic formatting? Um, probably the place to start would be to create the page breaks. Um, so to do that, uh, I think, where was my first page? Let's say, yeah. See where I put the cursor now. Let's say I want a page break to occur there. So I go to the top of the ribbon. I click on insert. Click on page break. And there it is. It's created the page break for me. And then I do the same over here because there's a, a page break should be in there. So top of the ribbon, insert, page break. There we are. You see I've got two pages with very little on them. Um, do the same before chapter one starts so I click put my cursor there say page break so now chapter one is starting on a new page I find my way down to chapter two wherever that is I'm not seeing it there it is now that's chapter three okay look I'll put one in here for the start of chapter three so page break so chapter three starts on a new page and let me go back and find chapter two I'm not seeing it let me know if you see it. Have I gone too far again? I've missed it. Bet you saw it and I didn't. There it is. So, put a page break in there. So, now I've got a situation where my first three chapters start on a new page. And so does this front matter material. This is just the like the the, he, the the title of the book page and this is uh, a bit of information about uh, claiming copyright and then we go into the table of contents which is on its own page and the first three chapters are on their own pages <coughs> next thing we might uh, do is create headings I think so if we go to the ribbon at the top click on the home tab and then here we have the styles boxes and in there you can create different heading styles and you can create a style for your main text. So let's let's do the main text first. So if I come up to this normal box and right click on it, so this is going to be my normal typical text in this document. I right click and then I left click on modify and then I decide what I want the, the bulk of the text to look like and let's say I want Arial and I want it to be 12 point just so we can make it different to what it is at the moment. So I say 12 point, I say OK. Now to begin with I may as, uh, may as well make absolutely everything in this document, this, this main text style. So if I uh, click on any page and do a control A on the keyboard it's going to select everything in the document. If I scroll down here you see, see absolutely everything has got that blue uh, box around it so everything is selected okay so now if I come up to my normal text you know remember I've already defined what normal is going to look like it's going to be Arial 12 I click on normal and bang everything changes to Arial 12 everything in the document is now Arial 12 okay <coughs> so now let's think about uh, the headings for the chapter and we'll you can call them what you want but let's say let's make the chapter headings let, let's call them heading ones okay because this plays into creating a, a table of contents later as I'll show you in a minute so I'm going to right click on heading heading one and I'm going to say modify 
and then I'm going to decide what I want my he headings heading one style to look like. Now the main text was Arial 12, so let's make the headings Arial 14. So 14 is already selected in there. Uh, let's make it bold and let's make them blue. Okay, so I say OK, uh, and now. I've got my table of contents in, in mind. Everything that I make a heading one, I'm going to put into my table of contents. So I'm not, I'm not going to make this a heading one. I might make it a heading two. Um, but let's come down to, let, let's take all this out because this is there from before I uh, took the formatting out to, to, to do this demonstration. So here's my chapter one. I highlight it and I click on heading one at the top of the ribbon. There we are. Chapter 1 is now blue and it's now Arial 14. Come down to Chapter 2. Do the same there. Highlight it. Click Heading 1. It goes blue and that's Arial 14. Do, do the same for Chapter 3 because remember I've only um, broken three chapters up um, into uh, I want to put put them onto their own pages. So I, I uh, click heading one again, and now I've got three chapters that start on their own pages, and I've created the heading style for those pages. So as far as this is concerned, I can do I can do what I want with this. I, I'm not going to do any special um, cre creating a heading style, but but if I just come up to the top of the ribbon here. And I can make that Arial 14 if I want, but I'm just going to do it manually. And I'm going to make it bold. See, and I can do this for this other um, stuff that's going to go in the front matter of the book. So I'll, I'll make that, uh, for, I don't know, what the hell. Make it foot 13, Arial 13, slightly smaller than the main heading. And the other thing I'll do with this, did I even change that? Yes, I did, but I didn't make it bold. Let's make it bold. And the other thing is I'm going to center it. So I highlight this stuff and I go up to the ribbon using this thing here. I click on it and it's centered. Okay. Likewise this, I want to center that, highlight it, come up here, center it. Okay. So that's that. Table of contents, let's manually make that Arial 14. And let's make it bold and I'll center it. All right, so it's starting to sh take shape already. The other thing you may need to do, depending on how you, you will need to do, depending on uh, how your book is going to be laid out, what size it's going to be, you'll have to set the margins. So uh, again, if you do a control A and select all the text in the document and come to page layout and come to margins and come in here, maybe custom margins, and set here, you know, uh, what you want the left margin to be and right margin and so on. And then you'd say OK and it would alter the margins for you. So the only other thing I'm going to show you in this short video is how to create the table of contents. Now remember what I did here was uh, I, I created three chapter headings. Uh, they're all heading one styles. Okay. And the reason, one of the reasons for doing that is if you want to create a table of contents, you can uh, simply come up here under references and click in here under table of contents. Come down here to insert table of contents because we don't want an automatic one. I want some control over what the table of contents is going to look like. So I say insert table of contents. And then I get here to pick and choose a little bit about what I want my table of contents to look like. I, d I don't want hyperlinks because it's not going to be a web document I'm doing. This is for a printed book, so I don't want these blue hyperlinks. I'll, I'll uh, deselect that. And uh, style, you know, you can have different styles of heading. There's uh, fancy headings, there's distinctive. But let's go for the classic. Uh, and we will right align the page numbers and we will show page numbers now if I say OK what happens everything that I've nominated to be a heading one 
which was only three chapters because I haven't gone through the whole book because this is only a quick demonstration now appears in my table of contents now there's I think 20 chapters in this book if I'd have done that for every if I'd, if I'd gone through and nominated each chapter title as a heading one then all of those chapter titles would now be appearing in this table of contents and that is as far as I'd got to when I started creating the three videos that show you how to go into uh, more complex formatting for a, for a novel or other book so I hope that helps other things you can do by the way see this here this chapter one title um, is you can go if I now alter my if I go back to the um, home tab on the ribbon and right click on heading one and go to modify I can go in after the event and change things and it will still be applied to everything that I've nominated as a heading one so if I say I, I want my heading ones to be centered if I click on this here and then say OK you can see everything that I've nominated as a heading one will now be centered see so that the heading there is centered but it doesn't affect the table of contents up here all right so that I think takes us up to the point where uh, where I was up at before I started the three videos that I made a year ago so I hope that helps good luck with your own work cheers